Hey students, do you remember that you had to complete this question and the hint was given and that was sin x plus cos x into sin square x minus sin x cos x plus cos square x and uh, we left the question there and it was your turn to solve. Never mind, here is the complete solution. After when you have written this, one can write sin x plus cos x as it is in a bracket and yes sin square x plus cos square x will be 1. What is next is a task. Now multiply and divide by 2. But where this 2 will go? So 2 will be outside dx and this 2 will be multiplied to Two minus two sine x cos x. Now the two the x sine x plus cos x, and this is two minus sine two x. What is next? Again, this is a trouble. So, what you can think? You can think of multiplying and dividing by. Now, this is a catch multiply and divide by sin x plus cos x. Why? Because this is sin x plus cos x, the whole square, and this is 2 minus sin 2x. So, Everyone knows that 1 plus, everyone knows that sine theta plus cos theta whole square is 1 plus sine 2 theta. So using that, we can write 2 outside sine x plus cos x dx over 1 plus sine 2x. So what will happen with this? Now comes a hidden substitution. And this is another catch. Put cos x minus sin x as t. With that, minus sin x minus cos x. So I've already taken minus common. dx becomes a dt. And do squaring here. So when you square this cos x minus sin x, the whole square is t square. So this is 1 minus sin 2x and this is equal to t square. So now, because uh, 1 minus sin 2x is equal to t square, so sin 2x is equal to 1 minus t square. So if you remember the question, this is 2 sin x plus cos x dx now this entire numerator will turn to minus dt and the denominator is sin 2x 1 1 minus t square it will turn to 2 minus t square and this is 2 minus 1 plus t square. So this is minus 2 dt over 2 minus t square and 1 plus t square. Now what to do? Friends, this is uh, a path where you can easily get the answer and still if you're facing the trouble, okay, we'll go together. I say using partial fraction. and use temporary substitution put t squared is equal to y so the question turns to and you can put that as a upon 2 minus y plus b upon 1 plus y 
Take the LCM. There are many methods with which you can find A and B. So I'm using comparing the coefficients. So when we compare the coefficients, we get one equation as and other as zero. With that, A equals to B. Now, A equals to B. So this implies B plus 2B is equal to minus 2. 3B is equal to minus 2. So B equals A equals minus 2 by 3. So the question turns to I equals, we put the value of A, which is minus 2 by 3, integration, and it will come back to T because the respect is T, not Y. So in the first, we will apply special integration. 1 by 2a log mod root 2 plus t upon root 2 minus t minus 2 by 3 tan inverse of t plus a constant. So we can put the value of t which is simply, if you remember, t is uh, cos x minus sin x. Yes, you can recall this is root 2 plus cos x minus sin x upon root 2 minus cos x minus sin x minus 2 by 3 tan inverse of cos x minus sin x. So, and here the question ends. Isn't it a tricky question? And it, I mean, it's a beautiful question because it takes everything from you. Yay, but it's solved. So enjoy and celebrate. Keep uh, watching this channel. This is seriously, it's a very serious channel for those who are uh, really interested in academics and those who enjoy and they want to enjoy education. Bye, take care. Bye-bye.